sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to take our weekly look at the standings in Major League Baseball. And I am going to highlight a specific team. And uh, we will get into that right now. But here are the American League standings. In the AL East, you've got the Yankees, who have been on some kind of a winning streak from hell. They're 18 and 7. Followed by Tampa Bay at 16 and 10. They're still hanging in there. Toronto is 16 and 11. The Baltimore Orioles are 10 and 16, and they're tied with Boston, who is also a dismal 10 and 16 at this point, especially for the Boston Red Sox. In the Central, you got the surprising Twins at 15 and 11, leading the way by two and a half games over the Cleveland Guardians, who are 12 and 13. And they're followed by the White Sox, who are 11 and 13. So the White Sox, my White Sox are only three games back. They've been winning lately, although they've been playing the Cubs. Uh, so I don't know if that's got anything to do with it or not. Then you got Kansas City at 8 and 15 and Detroit at 8 and 16. So those two teams are battling it out in the bottom. Again, very disappointed in Detroit. I expected better from them. In the West, you got the Angels, another surprising team, 17 and 10, followed by the Houston Astros at 15 and 11. The Seattle Mariners are 12 and 14, also very disappointing for the team that they had coming into the season. And another disappointing team, the Texas Rangers at 10 and 14, though they have been doing a little better lately. So we'll see if they can climb back into this race. And then in last place, you got the Oakland A's at 10 and 15. Moving to the National League, you've got the, uh, in the NL East, you've got the Mets, 19 and 9. And this is without DeGrom, they're 19 and 9. And you got Miami, is 12 and 13 and five and a half games behind them, but hanging in there. And you got Atlanta, 12 and 15. Um... The uh, world champions, 12 and 15, surprising. Um, then you got Philadelphia at 11 and 15 and Washington at 9 and 18. Then in the central, you've got the Milwaukee Brewers at 18 and 8. Surprising 18 and 8. No, not really. I predicted the Milwaukee Brewers to win the central. Then you got St. Louis at 15 and 10. You've got Pittsburgh at 10 and 14. Now that is surprising. They're right in the middle of the division and 10 and 14. Not a terrible record. Then you got the Cubs at 9 and 15. Then you have a team with a terrible record, and it is the team I will spotlight in today's video, and that is the Cincinnati Reds, who are 3 and 22. And then you have the L.A. Dodgers in the West leading the way at 16-7, and seven, but followed very closely by the San Diego Padres at 17-9. and nine. And then you have the Colorado Rockies at 15-10. and 10. Surprising, the Rockies are doing as well as they are. You've got San Francisco at 14-11. and 11, And then you have... The Arizona Diamondbacks picking up the rear, but they're a 500 team, and I think that that's surprising too. So there are your Major League Baseball standings so far this year after uh, roughly 25, 26 games, depends on the team, but that's where we are. So how about those Reds? How about them? They are right now 3 and 22. 3 and 22. You'd almost have to be trying to be 3 and 22. So that is, uh, that's horrible. I mean, let's face it. Um, they are batting, as a team, they are batting 203. That isn't good. Their top two hitters are Jonathan India, who's hitting 295. Now, 295 is not bad. It's not a bad batting average, but you don't want that to be the top guy on your team after 24 games or 25 games. And then, <clears throat> and then there's a steep drop off to Tyler Stevenson, who's hitting 263. And uh, after Tyler Stevenson, you don't want to know. 
So those are the top two guys that are uh, on their team for hitting. They have 18 home runs, just 18 home runs in 25 games in a stadium that is conducive to hitting home runs. Um, what is it, Great America Ballpark or something? So that's crazy. Um, <clears throat> the rotation. Now, the ro now this rotation is uh, something like I've never seen in my life. You got Hunter Green, who is one and four with an 871 earned run average. And these are the guys that have started significant time for 25 games. Tyler Maley is one and four with a 701. Nick Lodolo is one and two with a 552. Now the 552 earned run average, that's like, you know, maybe par for the course for um, an offensive league like Major League Baseball is today. But you don't want that to be your best guy, and it turns out it is. Um, then you got Vlad Gutierrez. He's 0-5 with an 886 earned run average. Remember, an 886 or an 871, you're allowing almost a run per inning. Almost. And then you got Reiner San Martin, who is 0-4 with a 1378 earned run average. 1378. I could have a 1378 earned run average in the major leagues. So they are, as I said, they're 3 and 22. That is a 120 winning percentage. They score um, on average negative three runs. They have a negative three run um, per game differential, run scored differential. Their expected wins are 37. Now, remember, the 62 Mets won, like, 40. 40 or 42 or something like that. I don't know exactly, but it was more than 37. So that's their, right now, that's the Reds' expected win um, num total, 37 wins. The 62 Mets, after 25 games, were 7-18. and 18. Remember, the Reds are 3-25. and 25. Is that right? No, 3-22. and 22 after 25 games. And the 62 Mets were 7-18. and 18. Now, if we look at another historically terrible team, the, eight, <coughs> the 1899 <coughs> Cleveland Spiders, they had a, a total final record of 20 and 134, and that's a 130 win percentage. Right now, the Reds have a 120 win percentage. So they are on a pace to win fewer than, based on the 120, they're on a pace to win uh, fewer than, um, well, the Spiders didn't play 162 games. They played like 150-something. So uh, they played like 154. So, um, and the Spiders were so bad and so unwatchable that they ended up playing a good percentage of their schedule on the road, not at home. I mean, the Reds may have to resort to that. So, uh, and then the, other, the only other team that has, um, in recent memory, that has finished or started the season as badly as this was the 1988 Baltimore Orioles, who were 1-21 in, in their first 22 games. But they finished at 54 and 107 on the strength of having won 53 of their last 140 games. I don't know if we can expect the Reds to win 54 of their last 140 games or if we can even expect the Reds to win 54 games. So that is my spotlight on the Cincinnati Reds. We're doing the Cincinnati Reds this week because they are just biblically bad. But what do you guys think? Do you think they're going to uh, beat the Mets record for ineptitude? Do you think they're going to beat the Cleveland Spiders record for ineptitude. Let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And hey, if you just happen to be scrolling by and you saw this video and you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. A lot of good stuff on my channel. You should check it out. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.